So hey guys, it's your boy Vandal, and I'm coming back to you with another video. And today, we're going to talk about something that we all probably have on our minds, and that's how to deal with fear. But before we get into this video, don't hesitate to hit that like button, don't hesitate to subscribe if you're new here, and don't forget to hit that notification bell when you want to hear things that I have to say. So let's jump into it. So, how to deal with fear. So as probably a lot of you are realizing, you're stuck at home because of this thing called the COVID-19 virus thing that just came out of nowhere. It actually came out of China. One of the things that it's done to us in a very short amount of time is infect a lot of people, but it's also causes us to create like a whole bunch of panic and fear, and that's making us do a whole lot of irrational things. And maybe this video is a little bit too late, but nonetheless, wherever it comes or however it reaches you, this might help you deal with some of the things that you're feeling right now, because I know a lot of us are feeling a lot of things in different ways and for different reasons. Now, first of all, I wanna take this time to say that I myself have experienced a lot of fear and I'll even start with the vlog that will come out next week, which was supposed to be on Super TSB and it was supposed to be a whole second part of the day that never happened because I read some stupid shit online, but nonetheless, it made me scared. How are some steps that we can take as people in our community to reel back this sense of fear. So just like we talked about in feeling like you are you wanna quit or you're feeling lethargic or you're just not feeling into whatever it is you're doing, you gotta accept the feeling. I think that's the basis for every other video I'm gonna go through, but the first step of all the feelings that you have to have is accept them. Especially cause like when you are happy, you accept the feeling of being happy really quickly because it's a lot, it's a good feeling that comes with good things. However, when you feel negative things, you feel like you shouldn't feel them because you need to be happy all the time. And that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. One of these things is you have to accept your emotions as valid and as is. Because once you accept your emotions, you can readily deal with them like we talked about in the wanting to feeling to quit video. I don't think that's what I named it. So accept the feeling of fear. Know that you're scared. Know that something is worrying you. Understand it. All right, so we're gonna just take that, understand that, let us feel that for a while. Just sit around, don't do anything too much. Just take it easy. Next step that we have to do is we need to take our fear and understand what is scaring us. So for example, with this virus, What's scaring us is the fact that we don't, we can't see it. We know that people are getting it. We don't know how many people get it, are getting it. We don't know how exactly people are getting it. And that part of fear is taking out our ability to have control over the situation. And that's why you have a bunch of people who are going to the supermarket now, and I don't understand you people still, and you're buying all the toilet paper. And that will still, I don't care what reasoning you come up with. I don't know how many shits you guys think you're gonna take when you have water or I, I don't know, I mean, you could use the sink too half the time and save some of the toilet paper. I don't know, but y'all bought out the toilet paper and the hand sanitizer on some bullshit and I hate all of you for that. Then again, the other part of my brain says that maybe there were just a lot of people who bought all of one thing, but I don't think that's the case. We have our fear, we have things that we don't know that puts us into uncertainty and that doesn't make us feel easy, so that makes us scared, makes us panic, makes us do things that we wouldn't normally do. So we need to understand and educate ourselves on what we actually know so we have some form of control on what actually is happening because your fear will reduce the more information that you have. The less information you have, you'll be way more scared. Take it for example, if I took you in a van and I just put a bag over you, you're scared because you don't know where you're going, you don't know why you're happy what's happening or who took you or why. There's so many There's so many unknowns that of course you're gonna be scared. So we need to figure out what we know, research about the virus, figure out what's happening out in the world. Take your time to do that and inform yourself. But caveat, don't read too much. Do a little bit each day because if you overwhelm yourself, you'll just get even more misinformation or too much information and it'll cause you to think. So just take it day by day and see how things go. One other thing that you can do in your daily life is also to just take time for yourself to do the things that you enjoy. Now, that's limited to a lot of people because they're probably stuck in their homes or they're afraid to go out. So try and find things that you like to do at home, maybe watching like something that you enjoy, making some food that you like, getting some food that you like, things that you can do by yourself because we can't do things in groups anymore. 
I mean, if you play video games and you've been an introvert your whole life, this is like pretty easy. This part is pretty easy. But if it's not your kind of thing being at home, you're gonna have to find ways to keep yourself busy. And I think I should make a video on like 10 ways to keep yourself busy at home. I mean, it's not too hard, but it can be hard for some. Now, another thing that can help you with your fears is finding something that's funny. You know, people make memes and people make fun of people who make memes, but memes have like a very important part in our culture. It helps you just de-stress and look at a situation as not as bad as it might be. Now, this situation is pretty bad. Uh, I've never seen anything in my whole entire life of my short life on this earth to be something like this where people are forced to stay home and Times Square is empty. It's creepy. Very creepy. Finding something to make you laugh will help ease your stress and at least loosen your nerves and prepare you to learn about some other things that you can do. Because once you have your information and you're a little bit more relaxed, you have a bit more control and understanding of the situation. You're better prepared for what steps to take. Always keep informed so you don't feel like you don't have a grasp on the situation. And, and also in this time, because just like there are fake news sources, it's very easy to find things that are not real and can hinder your process of actually doing the right thing or finding the right thing. All right, one of the other things that you can do to help reduce your feeling of fear is because once you get into a state of fear, you start to move less, you start to isolate more, you start to just feel like you can't do anything and the walls are coming in around you. And one of the things you can do is exercise. Exercising helps promote all that stuff in your brain that makes you like feel good or something. I don't know, it's like drugs, but like without the harmful side effects. I'm promoting drugs on my channel? <laughs> Okay. Another thing that another thing that you can do is finding support from other people. We always talk about that in other parts, but if this was the time to find support with other people, it is now. Now, don't find support like with other people like in the real life of the world. Find support from people online. Uh, maybe you can find a counselor or you can just find a group of friends to talk to to help like calm you down with a lot of the things that are making you feel nervous. Cause I know a lot of people are feeling a, a sort of type way. Like if you can think about it, all the events have shut down. Like life has like really come to like a really grinding halt. If you could think of it as a metaphor, it's like a train, just someone hit the emergency brake really, really hard. And now we're all just like, stop everything. And it, it, it's kind of scary. It's not an easy thing to do. So talking with someone will definitely help you get through this well, it'll help partly get through this because everything that I'm telling you is a bigger part of a whole of you getting through what we're going through now. Like each part will help you a little bit as a tool, working out, talking to other people, watching something being funny, educating yourself on the issues. Those will all like come around to helping you. If you're not too quarantined, and this goes back into exercising, but sometimes you get sad and stuck seeing walls all day. I know I do that at my other job. So like taking a walk sometimes doesn't hurt. Going outside, if you can, unless you're in Italy. <sighs> Peace out to the homies. Um, then try and go outside while you still can. Enjoy the outside world with limited interaction and just be safe. Wash your hands, hand sanitize, all that good stuff. And yeah, I mean, I can even tell you guys a story quickly at the end is like a few days ago. I don't know how much it was. I think it had to deal with my allergies, but that like I, I just got like super sick and I was able to get rid of my sickness by just you know fluid sleep rest but that part just in addition to what happened post the super TSV thing it just like really messed up my whole head and I, I thought I thought I, I was just very cautious about everything I took all the precautions of what I knew and that's what helped me get through the situation that much more easier because I had an idea of what I needed to do had I had this thing and I don't even know if I do or did not and that part is the worst part like you won't know if you have it and that's the biggest fear right you don't know what you got because you can't even know that you have it some that's some so yeah guys let's review remember accept that you have your fear look at it at like small bits throughout your day understand that you can revisit it and then the ways to slowly combat it is just take your time, inform yourself, do stuff that you love, watch something funny sometimes, do some exercise, take a walk, 
get support from other people, and just enjoy your life as much as you can because as you can see, the world can come to a halt at any time. That probably wasn't the best message to leave off on, but I care about you guys and I'm gonna try and be bringing you more content because even though the world looks like it's gonna end, I ain't gonna stop this as much as I want to. Believe me, I've been very lazy the last few days. I'm gonna keep doing this because I believe that everyone can get through anything as long as they can do stuff. So maybe in the next one, let's talk about how to like, you know, really focus on the doing part during this part so we can keep ourselves occupied. So hmm, that's an idea. But yeah guys, uh, that's all I have for you today. I hope this video was informative. I hope it didn't scare you too much. I don't think I'm that scary. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Hit that like button because you're probably watching this inside and not outside. Okay. And you know, hit that notification bell for when you want to hear things that I have to say when I have to say them. But yeah guys, I'm Vandal. Um, it's been Project 52. I have not said that in like the last three videos. So, um, yeah. So peace guys. Bye.